Hey everybody, welcome back to my book chat channel. So it has been a little while, but we are fresh into the new year and I am hitting things off with a independent book review. This is a book um, that I've read. It is called 18 by Jenny Jackal. And this was an author that I have reviewed for in the past and has reached out for me to, or asked if I would do another one for her. So I happily accepted and uh, yeah. So jumping right into things. So again, this one is called 18 and the synopsis is, a fo as, is as follows. Arriving in a rain swept city after a solo bus journey, 18 year old Talia works, or the Talia's world breaks wide open. Soon she is chasing chickens, telling bad jokes to prospective boss, fielding a roommate's insults about her decor and all the while homesick for a place that never existed. Funny, harsh, touching, and uniquely observant, Talia speaks to the reader as if, it, as if to a best friend. In a chance encounter, Talia meets George, a young man whose passion for building sailboats sparks a conversation that leads to much more. When a sailing job takes George away to Mexico, Talia struggles with ghosts from her troubled past until a growing faith in her, in herself, brings her to a brings her to take a bold decision stepping into the unknown in a way she never has before. So this is a coming of age story um, of what it's like to be 18. And I have found just on a personal note that I really connected with this story. Um, it really brought me back to the, the many different things that I experienced between the ages of 16 and 18. And yeah, so Again, this is the third book that I have read and reviewed for Jenny. Um, I am incredibly grateful to have been given this opportunity. So a small shout out to her and a thank you to her for allowing me to read yet another one of her um, works. And uh, I've, re I've really enjoyed this one. Um, again, for those of you who have not read this one or have not heard of what this is, yeah, or have not heard of this one yet, 18 is a coming of age story and it goes through all of the many different awkward, lonely, emotional, and challenging stages one would go through while dealing with love, friendship, sexuality, and self-discovery. Diving into the roots of this story right away, I found myself hooked into this one. And I mean the way, and I mean it like all the way, hook, line, and sinker. I found the pace of the story was very satisfactory and I really enjoyed the characters as they were introduced. The story focuses around a young 18 year old by the name of Talia, as I have previously mentioned, and I have found that her background and the choices she made rather interesting. Um, she goes through so many different situations and her experiences similar to my own when I was about that age. So the story, you know, really took me back to my own life and made me have another look at things that shaped who I am and how much I've changed in just every way possible ranging from my own views and the circumstances in which I was personally raised with and the opinions that I had about all of it. But getting back to the story itself, I found it had a lot of Nora Roberts vibes in the, in the way things were described, the bonds of friendship that were formed, and the family that was ultimately created in the end. I found this especially true in the intimacy, mo bleh, in the intimacy moments and the scenes that happened throughout the story, which, if I were honest, pulled me in even further. Because for anyone who has followed me at all, through many of the different book reviews that I have done, um, know that I am a pretty big Nora Roberts fan. So really, this was a really nice change in pace, and I really enjoyed this one. So, keeping away from spoilers and trying to be as vague as possible, as I said, it is a coming of age story, and I think would touch just about anybody who would read it, anyone who's had any kind of what I would consider normal experiences as, you know, a young teenager. And it doesn't matter if, you know, you experience it at a, at a different time frame. I think we go through similar situations in many different forms. And, you know, through heartbreak and dealing with high school and friends and family crisis and just there are many different things that we're dealing with on so many different levels and generally all at once at that age you know, along with trying to figure out who we are as people and what we want to do and then what to do with all that at the same time can be a very overwhelming 
time for most people. So I find that, or I would really recommend maybe picking this one up and giving it a read. Um, yeah, I definitely would say this one was a five out of five stars for me. I would definitely um, reread this one. Um, and I would love to see more come from the story, whether it's, uh, you know, a, a chapter later on in their life or a story about one of the side characters or something. There's a lot of opportunity that could come from this particular story. So I definitely look forward to seeing what happens next and what more comes from Jenny in the future. So that wraps up my very first fumbled um, book review of the new year. So I hope you all have a fantastic end of the week. And uh, I will be back soon with another book review. Happy reading.